Hi everyone, so let's make a heart shape in Nomad Sculpt. So the first thing we're going to do is delete this sphere and bring in a box. And then we're just going to increase the topology. I'm just going to increase it to like, see that it's quite smooth. Okay, and then validate. After that, we can subdivide. I think this is fine. Um, it's a, it's, well, it's actually a lot because I don't really care. <laughs> per se, since it's just one asset. So if you've downloaded your SVG file, you can just you know, go to the stamp tool and then import your SVG file. You can see I have it here already. So you can import yours. You can check the description box and I'm going to link um, one for you. But you can also download it anyways. So you can see my connected topology is on, my front facing vertex is on, all of that. So what we're going to do next is Remove the symmetry and then just draw it out there. All right, so I'm fine with this, and I'm just going to turn this to the left and trim this with the rectangular trim. It's mine selected already, so just trim this and use the gizmo tool to increase the depth a little bit. Oop, I didn't trim this well, okay, so I'm just going to go back to trim it again. Okay, so don't be afraid to make mistakes. So I'm just going to increase the yes, increase the little bit more. All right. So you can see that it's too sharp, right? You don't want this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, transform this to triplane. I'm just going to convert this. So I've already done like a set in here, right? So I'm going to and check that and I'm just going to convert so you can see it's smoother right we can still get the track planner and smoothing it out more if you want so I quite like this I'm just going to validate so this is this is it and yeah there is your heart right you can of course paint this if you want just go to the paint tool and on the right select the ball and just select the color you want okay so i added in more texture and um, you can do this by going to the stamp tool and just importing whatever texture you like different textures different results so many textures online that you can download and if you notice the material is quite different that's because i changed it to glass and if you want that just go to the material panel and select refraction make sure that it's glossy i don't really go into this because i want to explore different things you can do with your shape okay so of course i really hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial please don't forget to subscribe like and share and um yeah happy valentine's day enjoy your weekend have a wonderful weekend <laughs> bye